today we're doing a what I eat in a day video. Um, obviously, I'm not like health conscious or whatever, but I do eat plant based. And um, yeah, just kind of show you, give you some inspo if you sometimes run out like me of creative ways of eating certain foods. I don't know. It's really we earlier, it's around 9.41, but we took Kubi for a walk and because the strokes, they're going to be playing at the forum and the tickets are going on sale today, we're like trying to get our accounts ready. So we have them ready, so now we're just going to get our food. Our, our vegan version of like a Mick sausage sandwich, right? From McDonald's, but without, vegan. Without the egg. <laughs> yeah, without the egg. It's like, okay, we replace the egg with the hash brown. We put the hash brown into it. Yeah, so let's show you real quickly what we're talking about. <clears throat> Our stove is dirty, okay? Don't judge me. We use our comal. We get these from Trader Joe's. These are just some hash browns. Obviously frozen. If you're looking for a quick morning breakfast, this is a cool go-to. Heat up two of them on the stove. I like a breakfast sandwich. I would probably do this more healthy version with a bagel and like avocado and like some like spring mix in there and maybe a little bit of like a cream cheese or something. I don't know. But so I'm showing you the realistically what we eat in a day. So we use this Light Life sausage. It is gimme lean plant based sausage and this is gonna be basically our protein. We use English McMuffins. We just open them up for you. These are also from Trader Joe's. We need to make tortillas like uh how do you say that in English? Use it to kind of squish the sausage to make it like a sausage patty so yeah this is what it is you don't need this but it's just easier than doing it by hand that's why this is going great the hash brown and the sausage cooking and so what we like to do is add some cheese you don't have to do this but like i said we're trying to recreate like the mick griddle or make sausage or something. We add some cheese. If you have slices, this works better, but we don't have slices. I'm gonna grab this and just let it melt. Let it melt. Toast in, so. And while that is toasting, I'm gonna start making our coffee. We use our reusable glasses to make it. It's just simpler. And for us, because we don't brew it, we just do the instant coffee from Trader Joe's. Just really quick and easy. And since we like iced, it's just easier to do it this way. Okay, we'll use the other one. Well, because there's no ice. Can you show how to shake it? You have your brewed coffee. <laughs> Look at that. Very good. We're going to add some mayo, veganese to this, and ketchup. I don't want the other hash brown. I'm turning it off. Here we go. Look at that. Quick, easy breakfast. So, since we're waiting to get in line for these tickets, I'm gonna have my sandwich and my coffee. So. Yes, how does that happen? You're almost up there. 400? Mm. All right, so we just finished eating. It was a good breakfast. We got tickets for the strokes, which is exciting. I will check up with you when I eat lunch, which I think is gonna be really good because I kind of have an idea what we're gonna have for lunch. Click, baby. Say hi to the peoples. Say, look, I'm Kubrick. Nope, you'll never look straight into the look camera. The camera right here. Yeah, there you go. Okay, I'm gonna take off my hat because it's too much. We put some makeup on. Lisa's dressed up. We're not in our PJs anymore. But we did stay up all morning watching what? 
The Bachelor. Finally. It's one of our guilty pleasures that we barely found out last year about. Now we're gonna make our lunch. We're gonna start a little earlier on making it because the fresher and cooler it is, the better it tastes. Making a vegan ceviche out of uh, heart of palms. Yes. So ceviche is just marinated um, like seafood. It could be like camarón. What is it? Shrimp. Shrimp, Shrimp fish. Yeah. So it would go mixed with uh, tomato, onion, cilantro. Cucumber. Uh, sometimes cucumber. Some people don't use cucumber. Um, but yeah. Cilantro, onion, and, and savoy are the base uh -huh. with lemon, salt, pepper. Some people add cumin in there just for that tiny bit. But yeah, it's like, and then you have it on top of a tostada. And some really fresh good. like avocado slices on top. And Valentina and so or tapatio, depending what you like. But we, we have Valentina. People like Cholula. Cholula, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so that is what we're going to have for lunch. But we're just going to start like dicing it and everything right now. Let it cool for a little bit. And then we're gonna go out, and then when we come back, we'll probably eat it. Kubrick for a little walk we went to a little park and now we're just gonna have a quick lunch because Luis has to leave in like the next 20 minutes um so yeah let's get this all ready so you can see how bomb this shit's gonna be look nice and cool now oh it's gonna be so fresh so tostada is basically like a fried tortilla um I think that's the only way I could tell you but so bomb we love making tostadas another way we like to do this is like taking beans refried beans deli meat lettuce and pickled onion on top oh so good but today we're doing the ceviche So this is our ceviche, that, so fresh. I thought we were recording, so it's not a taste test no more, but ceviche. It's really fresh. Definitely like letting it cool made a difference. Yeah, normally when you make ceviche, you do have to let it cool because the fish is marinating or the shrimp, whatever you use. I'm going to finish eating this. Obviously, he just finished. And we'll see you for dinner. And dinner's going to be so exciting. Why, Luigi? It's a lot of work. It is. But we're making my favorite thing ever. But we're going to make sushi. Luigi sushi is so bomb. My mom, all my family who is not vegan, love his sushi. Okay, so let's do it. We're gonna show you our favorite recipe ever. So stay tuned. It's me again. And guess what? Bonjour, madame. Bonjour, monsieur. So it is. Okay. So it is now dinner time and 
We're gonna prep for sushi, which is like one of our favorite dinners and very fulfilling. It's a lot of prep work, but let me tell you, so fulfilling after you because you put in all the work and making it and it's just so good and we hope you like it. This is our version. We found we found certain recipes back in the day, but I feel like now we've made like our own specific style of sushi. And this can work with many different ingredients, but these are the ones that we enjoy eating. So let's get to it, right baby? Don't do that thing. Yeah, let's get to it. bring in this little talking part for this so I roasted the peppers um, you could use like a whole big pepper but we like to get the minis just because of variety and they're a little sweeter so what I did is fire roast it and then all I'm going to do is take off all the skin the the seeds and the top portion of this and then open it and then I create kind of like two pieces like this and this is our marinade, so we're just going to put it in there. And this basically is going to create like our own tuna, if you want to call it. So that's why we do this. Okay, so we finished the prep work, so which was just preparing all this stuff. I usually cook the rice 30 minutes before I start prepping, but because we did it simultaneously, 
now we're gonna have to wait like 30 minutes to let the rice cool so all the prep work is done the rice is cooling and then we'll come back in 30 minutes and put it all together look at that sploot Kobe, show them the splooties look at my splooty butt this is the best thing about with a corgi is a sploot huh Kobe? the sploots <laughs> Hey, so we're back a little later. I was editing, so um, we're just showing you our setup. I have the two plates here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to add our sauce. So I just take some lemon. There's a lot of lemon in this video. Or lime, sorry. Instead of soy sauce, we use ponzu. It's just a different flavor. I feel like my family loves this on sushi instead of soy sauce. Let's keep working for cheap. Oh, really? Yeah. So... I'm going to be cutting the sushi. Luigi's going to be making the rolls. Honestly, it's so much easier when you have two people doing this. It's it's a lot of work on one person for sure. So we have our cucumbers, shredded carrots, our avocado, our chipotle sauce, our marinated bell peppers. This is new. It's fried onions. This, to us, makes a difference. You don't need to do this, but we like a crunch. So we do that. And we have our cold water, so when Luigi's rolling the nori and our rice. This is the nori we have here. This is a brand we use. This is the presentation side, mm -hmm. and then this is the one that you roll with. It's more rougher, gritty. But I, I put the, the rice on the shiny side because, I don't know, this one is like a little bit different. It doesn't stick that well. On to the gritty side. Yeah. I realized too when cutting it, it's easier to cut it on this side. On the outside, yeah. Get your hands with the cold ass water. Get a bit of rice. And the amount of rice, the amount of rice that you get is kind of like with practice, you're going to figure out how much you need. Get really stuck to your hands. Yeah, that's why we use the cold water. That's what the cold water is for. So... I, I try to spread it thin. You have to try to get as close to the edges as possible. Leave like about, you'll see how much, like, they say an inch you're supposed to leave. Some in, sometimes they say instructions, it's like two inches. Then what I do, I get that sauce, about a spoonful, spread it around, well, so one spoonful, spread it out. Some people just cut up the avocado and, um, we just saw that it kind of doesn't um, well, last you that long, so we started make, making guacamole a long time ago. Yeah. Because when you're slicing it, the avocado, you just go through it much faster. I think it's easier to do it like this too when you're rolling it. All throughout, so as you're rolling it, it all coils up. And then we put the shredded carrots in there. Um, what are these called? Fried onions. Crispy fried onions. And then if you like more spice, throw that on there. You're gonna get used to it but if you ever try it, but it's kind of You hard. could use a bamboo too, but... Yeah, I don't know how to use it, honestly. You just start rolling it, you know? And uh, I already ripped it. You ripped it, but it's cool. It's this one, you wet your fingers, the edges of it. You swipe it like that. And it should stick. Stick, yeah. stick on there. So now you got a whole roll. I'm gonna show you how I cut this. Sharp knife you have, but if you have a dull one, Definitely use this. It just makes cutting the sushi paper easier. So the way to cut sushi is really simple. I mean, it's not always perfect, but I just go to the center of it, estimate it, go down, cut in half. Try not to put too much pressure because then when you do, you create dents. Basically holding it lightly. And then this side. So at this point, it's pretty dirty, so I try to clean it. You're going to cut in the middle of it. One roll makes eight bites. bites. So the ends are usually hard. They don't always come out the best. I usually squish it in. Put it onto the plate. The roll we're making now is where the rice, the sashimi is over the rice, right? Mm -hmm. So like a tuna one, roll. For this one, you want to wet your, your hands pretty good because you're going to use your pump. Like maybe that much. See, I don't know. I don't know if you know my hands, but... You got big hands. You just kind of 
kind of put it into like a little pot like that with your, using your palms you know and get the bell pepper that's been marinated put it right over like that Ooh. and that's like that sushi but then I'll take this and now put it in our sushi plate so this is how our sushi plates looking so far Now it's the eating part of this. So here is our sushi. So here it is. We have some fried onion just to dip. Just, you know, for a little crunch. And then we have our leftover sauce, the chipotle mayo. We should do wet it a little bit. Then go for the crunch on here. It grabs it better. Look at that. Then eat it. It's worth the wait, y'all. I mean, I know it's a lot of prep, but it's worth it. I added a lot of lemon to the avocado, so I would definitely do less. Oh, yeah. Here we go. That's you know what? Part. Actually, can you put a little bit of the chipotle on top of this? It'd be so good. Kubi. <laughs> Our dog's like literally right there. Oh, Fuck me up, bro. Ah, oh, this is the whole. Mmm, the whole. Try these. Look at that. Look how cute it looks. Isn't it perfect? Dip it in. Kobe's <laughs> hungry. Look. We always have our water. Makes us full. Are you ready for dessert? <laughs> We're not gonna eat dessert. <laughs> Come on, you're good at baking. You're crazy. Y'all, so this is where we're gonna end our what did I eat in the day? What, what, I, what did I well, eat? What did I eat? <laughs> so we're gonna end it here, this video. I hope you enjoyed our recipes and technically what we ate all day. Um, let me know if you wanna see more of these or maybe more of it, but less of us like in it. Let me know, just more of the food. Uh, but yeah, thank you so much for watching and I hope you enjoyed the video and I'll see you soon. Bye. Bye.